terrorist attack, Buhari expresses shock. Ask how can terrorists organize, have weapons, attack Kuji, Kuji prison and get away with it. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. The president said he was disappointed with the intelligence system. President Muhammad Buhari has expressed shock over Tuesday terrorist attack on the Kuji Correctional Center in Abuja, the nation's capital. Exactly what people say they would express. Shock. After the shock, he comes and, you know, after all, somebody not dies, so no consolation. And so, before you know it, the matter is swept under the carpet. The news in detail. Sahara reporters have reported a terrorist suspected to be members of the Jamal al Surral Musilama Fi Biladi Sudan, popularly known as Ansaru, attacked the center on Tuesday night and freed inmates, including the members and Boko Haram terrorists, held in custody. Reacting on his verified Twitter handle on Wednesday, the president said he was disappointed with the intelligence system. Saddened by the attack on the medium security custodial center, Kuji, I am disappointed with the intelligence system. How can terrorists organize, have weapons, attack a security installation, and get away with it? I'm expecting a comprehensive report on this shocking incident, he said. Though the Nigerian Correctional Service spokesperson, Omar Abubakar, said one Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Corps personnel and four inmates died during the incident, a source told to her reporters that 10 inmates were killed during the incident. Another source also dismissed the claim by the Minister of Defense, Bashar Magashi, that 64, members, 64 Boko Haram members escaped after saying that over 201 members of the group were unaccounted for. A total of 879 inmates escaped from the facility during the unfortunate attack. As of a time of filing this report, 443 have been recaptured. 551 inmates are currently in custody. 443 inmates are still at large. Four inmates are dead and 16 inmates sustain various degrees of injuries and are being treated at the moment. However, efforts are ongoing to recapture all fleeing inmates, NTS spokesperson said. The service will deploy its correctional information management system in synergy with the National Identity Management Commission to track all fleeing inmates and return them to custody. The president earlier visited the scene of the attack before his scheduled trip to Dakar, Senegal. First of all, him coming out to ask how. The question is sounding very, very like I don't understand. Him coming out to ask how would terrorists, how do terrorists plan and attack the Abuja to Kaduna train? The train that was on road and road to, was it Abuja or Kaduna? How did they plan attack? How have they been planning and attacking? How did they plan and execute their plan on Kaduna airport? That's your question, get as it be. Forget all these things. Like I've said, this thing is well staged. They planned it and they perfected it. You know, I was even thinking initially that nobody died, but now hearing that people died, I'm sorry, they did not even, they did not die for a good cause. They did not die, they did not die protecting anyone because these people, they wanted them to be free in the first place. Immediately I heard that Kujie prison was attacked, I said that place we had in Corona few. That, not be that place, then they put people where they say they go, all these book around people, not be that place. <laughs> hey. Let them continue to deceive themselves. Who are the change of the soldiers guarding the prison? My brother, if you ask me, I don't know who I go ask. The same terrorists that Buhari had been releasing and absorbing into the military to compromise the military intelligence. The same terrorists that the Northern political class sponsored to sabotage the past government. We they here with them. Unfortunately, eh, you go reach everybody. But we just pray. So before you go reach everybody. Make something don't happen. Ha. As usual, expression of shock. All the aspiring presidents should learn how to express shock. Chai. May Buhari never happen to us again. By the way, or to which Buhari is expressing shock, we should be thinking of attaching wire to him to boost the national grid. People should leave me alone, I beg. <laughs> As if he does not know. The Waterloo is near. They think they can overrun every Biafran, Yorubasa, Middle Beltas, and Ijo in our ancestral land. In fact, 
Their Waterloo is so close that it is going to spell their end. I don't know how that will play out, though, sincerely. The same way we are shocked how you would win can trick Nigerians to become our president. Baba, you shock us. <laughs> hey, Nigerians always have a way of making things funny. If it were to be anywhere in the world apart from Nigeria, many heads will roll and many will lose the job with the security head resigning. But here in Nigeria, it is going to be promotion for the security head for a job well done. My brother, you talk him. If not for country, we say, eh? then here, fearing they keep their terrorists, anything do and forget. From that night, self go, person with the head, don't they, sh you don't they shake like jellyfish. You will see people dropping their, then go, they resign. Say they failed their country. Everything will happen. And others will be arrested. But for here, for Nigeria, nothing, nothing soap. Everything will just, before you know it, they will just sweep the matter under the carpet. And life will move on. <sighs> He's always shocked after that, nothing more. He's even shocked that Nigerians have allowed him to stay in office till this moment, even as he has succeeded in taking Nigeria 20 years backward. Did you say 20 years backward? He has succeeded in taking Nigeria 50 years backward. You know, say that time before Obasanjo coming. <laughs> that time when we say things spoil. And so, at that time. You know what they are doing? That's the strategy. They planned it to look like more like an attack. We leave the book of Rams and then use them come 2023 election. Hmm. The thing is, it is not looking good for me. It's not looking good for you. It is certainly not looking. This is why I'm saying if you are a resident of Abuja, please just stay. Just make sure you, you if you're somebody who is a night crawler, please, I think it's high time you stop. If you go out in the night, you come back in the night, you go out in the morning and come back in the night, and please, diversify your route. Whatever you are doing outside, please do it quick and go back to your house. And go back when there is still daylight. Like I said, diversify your route. If you are known for always taking one route, it is time to start making use of different, different places to go home. Yes, any security measure you can use to keep yourself safe first, please do. Because we don't understand how a federal capital, how the nation's capital, Oh my goodness. We'll be under siege. Even the, if this thing that uh, um, Olympus have fallen, you don't reach like this. Okay. The president of a country like Nigeria needs to be intellectually and to be expressing shock all the time. This is why we need a president like Peter B. Sincerely, oh, this is this cause for this this is not this is not good at all, Nigerians. This is not looking good at all. Okay, on this note, we've come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come, you will next time. Enjoy the rest of your day.